Good morning, family of God. This is Vicki and Chuck. Welcome to Morning Sessions. This is the day the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Welcome to this little corner of Father's Vineyard. You guys, we are so glad you're here. I say that every time, but we mean it. We are so glad that you're here. Thank you for joining us in this little precious place, this little corner of Father's Vineyard he's given us. It is a delight to be with you and to be with our Father God. Oh, Father, thank you so much. Thank you for every person who comes. Thank you for everyone who prays, who walks with you. Thank you for everyone you've called who said yes. Thank you, Father God, for your tremendous love that you've poured out. Thank you, Father, for the day-to-day -day opportunities we have to work out our salvation with fear and trembling before you and the joy that you put in the midst of those days along with the sorrow we go through or the times of growth or times we struggle. Thank you for all of it, God. You said that we are to give thanks in all things because this is your will in Christ Jesus for each one of us. So today we give you thanks, God. We give you thanks for being the maker of all things. We give you thanks for the gift of life. We give you thanks, Father God, for our brothers and sisters in you who love you as we walk this path, this journey that we're all on with you towards your kingdom to be with you one day. Father God, we thank you for each one who comes alongside. We thank you for the ministry of your spirit, for the gift of your son, for the sacrifice you made for every one of us. We thank you, Father God. We thank you for hope. We thank you for telling us that the joy of you is our strength and reminding us when discouragement or frustration comes that if we will get back into that place of joy because of what you have done and because of the promises you've made and because of who you are and because you not only created us, but you called us. If we just will get back in that place, Father, and get our eyes off of the circumstances, the things going on in the world that are discouraging or depressing or those things in our own personal relationships or our lives where we're struggling. If we just refocus, Father, and look at you, there is joy. There is joy in the Lord God Almighty. There is joy. Thank you, Father. Bless your name. You are greatly to be praised. You are greatly, greatly to be desired. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father, for the refreshing that we can only find in your presence. Thank you for washing away all of the questions that really don't need answers. Thank you for washing away all of the problems, all of the sins of the past as we come to you in humility and repentance. Thank you for washing away everything that threatens to weigh us down for giving us a brand new day once again to show you our love by our obedience.
Father, we praise you. You are the maker of heaven and earth, and we praise you. You are the righteous judge. Almighty God, we praise you. As we look at the things that you have done, as we look back through scripture, but as we look even around us this day, there is so much to praise you for. Praise you for always watching out for your children. Praise you for always making a way. Praise you for your creativity, the beauty, absolute beauty around us and the awareness that this is but a shadow of what is to come. We praise you, God, because you are never, ever, ever taken off guard. We praise you because you know all things. You are in and through every area of our lives, Father God. We praise you, Father, because you're not finished calling people. We praise you because you still have precious children that you're calling to yourself. We praise you because you have chosen to use human beings, the dust of the earth, to call others and because you have chosen human beings the dust of the earth the dust of the earth to come to know the creator of all things because you have made ways for us to do that because you have been patient with us and kind and gentle and loving and at the same time when we've needed it you've reprimanded us because you would rather correct us here than see us lost for all eternity. Thank you, Father. The wonder of who you are is indescribable. The wonder of who you are is beyond comprehension by mere mortals. If the angels stand in awe of you, God, and of course they do, your heavenly beings in awe of who you are. How can we not be? We bless your name. We lift up all of our prayers. We make our petitions known to the creator of all things, and we thank you for being God, and thank you for this day. Have your way, wonderful, magnificent, holy God. In the name of our Savior, the Word of God, Jesus Christ, the Messiah. Amen.
God bless you guys. We love you so much. We will see you back here tomorrow. Have an awesome day with the Lord. Bye for now.